What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are out at Spyglass. You guys know this course it is ranked in our top five. Every time you guys ask, we absolutely love this place. And today we got super lucky. The weather is unbelievable, right? Yeah, it's about 65, maybe creeping up on 70. <laughs> and uh, the greens are running at like a 12, 12 and a half right now. Yeah, of course looks absolutely pure. They just opened up a couple days ago. So we expect it to be in great condition. Greens rolling awesome. If you guys haven't been here, it's a bucket list item. You absolutely need to make your way out to Pebble Beach, play all the courses, and this one is uh, cream of the crop. So we're in for a treat today. We got the OG crew here, and uh, here's JC. Let's see what he has to say. <laughs> you know I love this place. I might shoot 90, but we're gonna have fun today. <laughs> <laughs> Spyglass Hill Golf Course is rated number 10 on America's 100 Greatest Public Courses list by Golf Digest. Spyglass Hill has also been called the best course never to have hosted a major event by the likes of Golf Digest and other major publications. The course is major worthy. Spyglass is the co-host of the annual AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am and co-host of the 2018 US Amateur Championship alongside Pebble Beach Golf Links. The course has continued to improve with new championship tees on hole number 7, hole number 11 with fun elevated tee shots, and hole number 18 extending its length to more than 7,000 yards. For more information, you guys could go to www.pebblebeach.com. You could also find their Instagram at Pebble Beach Resorts. You could find their hashtag, hashtag MyPebbleBeach. And if you want any more information, you guys could see the links below. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Take care. Also, if you guys are enjoying this video, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and uh, also turn on the notification bell. And uh, let's get this party started. We're gonna do a little quick match play, best ball, me and the big cat versus JC and B for dinner. They took us down on the first match. We're gonna take them down on the second. All right, hole one, par five, 595 yards, straight down the hill, slight dog leg to left. A little bit into the wind, and uh, you guys can see that ocean view out there. It's beautiful here. Excellent. Well, man. Alright guys, pull that driver over here. It's pretty much where I started last time we played this course, but I'm just gonna hit a five iron down there and get myself back in position. Good oh, jam right here. Should be in the left side fairway. Perfect. Alright, JC's on the right side, rough as well. Just a little further up. It's going probably like four or five iron as well. Going up the right side. Looks good. Good start. This place is absolutely magical. I mean, look at how big this fairway is. Of course, just right on the ocean as soon as you start your day. That's beautiful. And you guys are going to see the forest when we go back in. There's probably be deer and all kinds of wildlife in there. At least that's how it was last time. Man, in this weather, unbelievable. And coach doing coach things, hitting fairways right out of the gate. Oh man, it feels like it's so slopey though right here. Uh, I really want to hit a wood and go for it, but uh, that's not the smart play. I'm going to lay up with a five iron and uh, try and make birdie the old fashioned way. All right, just drawing it. Probably going to be in the left rough up there. Yeah, it's short of the bunker, left rough. So B absolutely hit a monster drive. He's got about 240 left into the wind. Beautiful golf hole. Oh yeah, it's exactly what we wanted. It's probably gonna be center of the green. Great swing, couldn't see it land because of the tree. All right, Justin hit a great drive down here. He's got a good look going in. He's got about 155 yards. Wind's really kicked up. Oh, great strike. It's literally going right at the pin right now. Be the right distance today. Did it get there? A lot of wind, a lot of wind. All right guys, laid up to a good spot. I got 155 left, but straight into the wind. I'm gonna take a seven iron, probably start at the pin, and be hopefully on the right side of the ridge. 
Oh man, he pured it, going just a little bit right of the pin. Oh yeah, golf shot. All right, terrible layup uh, with my five iron. I got 117 left. I'm gonna go pitching wedge and uh, anywhere on the green. Coach started this at the flag, but it's drawn over to the left. Is it gonna be landed on the back side of the green? I think it just rolled off in the back. Our Bisky went for the green, which is up on the green side bunker right here. It's probably got about a 30, 40 yard shot. Okay, he's gonna have himself, it's kinda working down that ridge slowly. All right, he's gonna have about a 30 footer. JC ended up over there just on the left side of the green. You guys saw mine coming up. I was just over here on the right, about 25, 30 footer coming up and then coach just rolled out of the back. Nice. Good par. Yeah. Great par, dude. Is that a birdie? It's a par. All right. Good par. Par. Thanks. All right, hole two, par four, 350 yards down the hill, back up the hill. Just a really fun hole here. Oh yeah, very Perfect. nice. Very nicely done. He's got about 150 up the hill. I fatted it left. That's gonna be tough over there. All right, Marco had a really good I think three or five wood off the tee. And uh, he's got about 125. Going left. Yeah, I think it should be good. All right, Justin has uh, about 120. We launched it going a little left, but I think it'll be okay. All right, Mikey's back there. He pulled his driver a little bit into that rough on the left. And he's probably got about only about 100 yards. All right, sit, sit, sit a little bit. This looks pretty good. All right, just missed it on the on the high side and uh, in the rough, so. A little delicate shot from there. All right, but he pulled his second shot pretty hard to the left and the wind's pushing straight towards him. So, wait till you guys see. Actually, look at the landing area that he has here. I mean, not a lot of room, but he does have the wind as a backstop. Really nice touch, sit, 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 sit. Just off. This day that we have today out here is just Unbelievably clear. I mean, you can just see so far out into the ocean. It's very rare out here. It's usually overcasty. Great shot. What do you see down there? You know, I'm thinking like right in here. Yeah. Don't, don't play too much break. Uh, just once you get over the uh, kind of the bend okay. right there, it's a little downhill. Goosebumps. <laughs> All right, hole number three, one of the most iconic golf holes uh, in America. And uh, it's 172 yards down the hill, right into the ocean. And pin is tucked on the left. There's not a, room, a lot of room for air here. Gotta hit a good one. Man, you control that nicely. Headed for right center of the green. I think you're on, yeah? Oh, 
Caught it a tad heavy. Oh, I flared this one to the right. It's gonna be. Yeah. Man, this thing is up in the air. It looks good. Oh, man, I don't know if it got there. JC's in the. Uh, I don't know what that Down. stuff is called, but now he is in the other side. Okay, well done right there. Okay, that was pretty good. Nice job. All right, nice job. All right, Marco's got a really tough chip right here. He's gonna fly it over the bunker with some spin. Oh, yeah, Caught yeah, it yeah. a tad heavy. Okay. Dude, yours didn't run out. Nice putt, Mike. All right, good par. All right, the four tee box right here, right on the water. This is absolutely beautiful. Definitely one of my all-time favorite golf courses right here. All right, hole four, par four. I think it's about 380 yards from back here. Hard dog leg to the left. You guys can see the green, just barely a little sliver of it uh, in that left part of the screen. And then you've got you know a whole bunch of mounds and dunes uh, surrounding the fairway here. Great swing. I've got 136. I'm gonna hit a little chippy seven iron into the wind. Got it out of there nice. That wind's just holding it up to the right. It might kick left. I don't know. We pushed it up to the right as well. The wind just grabbed it. All right, Marco is in the uh, same step we're in, just a little further up. He's probably got about one. Love this, this hole. Good. This looks really good. Oh, Got a long. good bounce, or no? It's in the fescue. JC hit a driving iron off the tee, and uh, he's got about 110 left. Caught it good. Knock it down, Wayne. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Golf shot. Nice shot. Because of the native fescue. This hole's beating up on us. Okay. It's pretty well played right there. Got a chance at par. Saddle, Nelly. All right. Pretty good. All right, is that a four? four nice He's par. Oh. All right, hole five, another beautiful par three. It is 195 yards straight in the wind and another tough green. Going just a tad left. 
like he's in that bunker. Uh, B just hit a beauty. This thing's two miles in there. Oh, you're on. He's on the green. Good shot. Middle of the green, beauty. JC, wind grab this. It's pushing it out to the right. It's gonna miss the green to the right. Coach playing a five wood. Draw. I'm trying to draw it in there. It's hanging kind of right center. JC's on the other side of that bunker over there. He's got a touchy little shot. A little bit long for coach. A little bit deep for Marco. It's coming back. He's got a little bit left. Hole six, par four, 446 yards, straight up the hill, slight dog leg to the right, uh, and a couple of good bunkers out there. Good swing. Bobby. Perfectly placed bunker, huh? Yeah, Mike. All right, coach has 113 left. It's playing straight downwind. Oh, this thing's going right at it. Be the club. Nice shot. Oh, just a, I think just a tiny bit short, but should be able to put it. All right, Justin ended up in this fairway bunker right here. He's probably got about 130 yards. Bunker. Going just a, just a little bit short. All right, Marco was right next to me. It's got about the same yardage. Needs to go also, just a little left. Okay, now we're chipping. Marco's got a tough little chip, about 20 yards up the hill. It's about 10 feet of green. Yeah, that's a tough one. Might come back a little though. Yeah, there it is. It looks like he knows what he's doing. Yeah, all right, guys. Not bad. Okay. All right, tough hole. <laughs> All right, hole seven, par five, 529 yards. Straight down the hill, well, it bends a little to the right, and uh, some bunkers up there on the left-hand side. Come on, baby, cut a little. All right, guys, had a decent drive. Got 263 yards left. Just gonna hit a five wood and see if I can get up around the green. 
Oh, he hit a great one. Up the right side. All right, coach pulled his to the left over here. Looks like he hit a three wood or hybrid or something. All right, get right of that water. Yeah, he should be fine. All right, JC bombed his. I think he's got like 230 left. Hi, hit a good one. Just going a tad right. Oops, sorry about that. B pushed his drive into the right side trees. He's just gonna punch out. Yep, going left though. Okay. All right, coach laid up, almost uh, just barely stayed out of the water. He's got 91 yards left, and uh, just barely, not even any wind right now. So hit that good, just a little bit left of it. Sit, sit, sit. Beesky was jailed from back there. Led up to a terrible spot. It's probably at about 125 yards. Hit this thing a mile in there again. And long and right. All right, Marco has a really tough 35 yard shot. Pins tucked on the right. He's just, okay, almost done. Justin just pushed his to the right. He's got a tough shot right here as well. He's gonna land it soft. Ooh, that could be good. Yeah, that was really well done. Okay. All right, B's a little bit long in the green. He's got a really tough chip right here as well. Oh, that was I think, really good. Tough shot there. Put it in. That broke a lot. Wow. All right guys, we are on the eighth hole right now. It's about 430 yards. As you can see, it's all going uphill, turning to the left. Really tough hole. I mean, you have to find the fairway here if you're gonna have a chance, because uh, when we turn the whole corner, it's gonna continue to go uphill. So, fun layout here. All right, got 152, hit one down the middle. Uh, just gonna try and attack this pin, go with a little seven iron. I jumped on it a little bit and just headed left. Should be left of the green. Marco was right next to me. He's got about the same yardage. Going just right of the pin. Good shot. Well played right there, JC. Probably just a good wedge. Just a little left of the pin. Our beast ended up a little bit short. Hit the tree on the way up. Just landed firm on him and hopped on off the back. Coach short sided himself. It's gonna be impossible to get this close. But if there's anyone that can do it, it's him. He went for the high flopper. Wow, that's awesome. That's what did I nice say? Shot. If there's anyone that can do it. Great shot, bro. Ooh. All right, leave a big cat for Birdie here. Good par. World class. Nice. I said it's an impossible shot to get close, but if there's anyone that can do it, it's Mike. All right guys, hole number nine here, 414 yards. And as you can see, it's just a beautiful hole here coming into the clubhouse. Um, just kind of winding up there to the right. Pretty pretty wide open on the left-hand side and then uh, 
the green coming into this hole is going to be pretty spectacular. Good ball. Did you just see that sand kick up? Yeah. Marco's got about 170 yards. Well, looks pretty good. Get up, yeah, right in front. Good shot. All right. Coach had a great drive here. He's probably got about 150 left. Started it right of the flag. It's trying to draw over. Really good distance control. Yeah, I think it might even come back a little bit. Really nice shot. Yep, it's coming on down. Look at that. Just the way he drew it up. Beeski coming up. I think he's going to be short. Bunker. A good one out of there. I think it might be a little bit short. I can't tell. Oh, yeah, he's barely on. Great shot. All right, that's Kochi in there. He had a really nice shot. And that's me and JC just in front. And then I think uh, Beeski was a little bit short. Bees in the left hand bunker. Really tough shot. Well played. Gosh. Another tough pin placement out here. Come on, get it. Man, good part. All right guys, that's the end of part one. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hit a big thumbs up for uh, Spyglass Pebble Beach Company for having us out here. Absolutely awesome time. This is a must come and play golf course. Add it to your bucket list and uh, you won't be let down. Yeah, one of my top all-time courses. Uh, huge favorite and uh, really lucky. Big thanks to Pebble Beach. Appreciate you guys having us out. And if you guys are enjoying these videos, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and turn on the notification bell, and we'll see you for part two.